segment. Leon, that lake has truly shaped our city. Oh, right you are. You know, water has long played a part in Cleveland's manufacturing, its commerce, its transportation. But I think water also does something else. It can also play a big part in calming our anxieties, if we will let it. We are a region built on water. It sustains us and gives a great city its character. Cleveland is nestled up to Lake Erie, drawing from it. The city began here. Water is the lifeblood of this region. Without Lake Erie, Cleveland and area would not have developed as it did. During this time of the year, Erie seems to wear its late summer colors, as if it knows soon it will wear its autumn wardrobe. But still, summer holds on for now, although its time draws near for it to step aside for a new season's entry. The days is getting uh, seem like they're about a half hour to maybe 45 minutes shorter than they were, you know, in the past weeks. Water and air are changing. So too are the people, perhaps becoming more reflective. Psychologists might confirm that thought, but you need no degree in those areas to know what you feel internally. At the water's edge, many will tell you why they come to where the land meets the water. It's just something about the water. A story of Cleveland and its water. Some find themselves often near Lake Erie for varied reasons. They may bring a fishing pole and drop its lines into the Lake Erie deep, inviting a fish to be guest of honor at tonight's suppertime gathering. We catch walleye, catfish, bluegill, largemouth bass. Even for those who do not cast their lines in the lake, but sit quietly and look, it is water which calls them. It does not take long to realize that among those who visit the water may do so for reasons quite important. What Cleveland offers may stir the souls of many who come to the water. Water helps them find something. It's a good place to come in, meditate or just do what you want to do. Uh -huh. Have you been meditating here while you've been sitting here? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. It's good relaxing, do some soul searching. What do you think about in that soul searching? Uh, just how my life is, how my life is, you know, where it's gotten me. For me, there is something special about being on the Lake Erie shoreline in late summer or early autumn. I suppose it's good for my soul. I find others who are just like me who are here. I guess we are a brotherhood of sorts. He is a veteran of a long ago war. Me too. Though we did not know each other until this meeting, we found a bond, realizing we shared experiences of the same time and space. As we both looked at Lake Erie, we both reflected on our lives and more. Uh, I was on Riverboat, Riverboat Gunner, did uh -huh. two tours, 69 and 71, and uh, seen a lot of action. Erie has many moods. Today it seems quiet and reflective. Tomorrow it may be anxious and white-capped. Those who come to this water, and others too, take water however it presents itself. Some waters speak in almost hushed tones, yet they are always moving. This is a leafy glade of the Cleveland Metroplex. Here too, summer holds on, but something is in the air. That whisper of autumn, uh, that it's not here, but it's coming. He is brought here by the water, taking his grandchildren to a stream he remembered from his childhood. Though the man has aged, the stream seems youthful, calling him back. Others are here as well, walking where the water runs. As is Lake Erie, this babbling brook which winds its way to the Chagrin River is a Cleveland natural resource, slipping a wet trail through these woods. Well, the serenity of it all is just uh, something that you know, you can't get anywhere else. You come here to relax, you come here to enjoy. Throughout this part of the land and water, summer still presides, but every hour the season's hold is loosened, knowing seasonal change is near. Nature prompts reflection, even for children who may not have words to describe it, but they feel something. This is one of my favorite places in all the world. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> How about you, Charles? You think you'd like this place, too? Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. A simple story of a natural resource, sometimes taken for granted, although it should never be taken for granted. Water sustains us, helping us find a way through life. 
This is Leon Bibb reminding you one way or another, Cleveland waters strengthen us, whether they be wide or small. Really, these waters are one in that eventually the flow of one ripples into the other. You know, there's a lot of area to find relaxation near Lake Erie, which I've visited since my childhood. Lake Erie's length, by the way, east to west, 241 miles. North to south, at its widest point, that's Ohio to Canada, 57 miles. A lot of water for relaxation or recreation when dealt with properly and safely. This is Leon Bibb offering something to think about when you reflect on Northeast Ohio's major natural resource, water. And uh, I'll drink to that. Uh, Lake Erie cocktail, if you don't mind.